Alright, what's going on everybody? This is Chase Fan number 9 here and I'm coming at you with another video. And this one is going to be a special one because it's going to be my 350th diecast review. Man, I've come a long way, that's for sure. I did my first one all the way back in early 2019, shortly after I started my channel. And I've come a long way ever since. And for this review, I thought it would be fitting that I did a diecast review for a first time winner. And that would be none other than Daniel Suarez's 2022 number 99 Onyx Homes Renu Chevrolet Camaro Sonoma First Wind diecast. Now, I've been wanting this die cast well ever since he won, obviously. And needless to say, well, Daniel Suarez has come a long way in the Cup Series. Obviously, he got rushed up to Cup in 2017 because Edwards suddenly retired. And because of that, he just had bad luck left and right. It seemed like it was happening every other week. Then 2019, he went to Haas, Stuart Haas Racing. Then he went to Gaunt Brothers, and boy, that was miserable. Especially with the fact that he missed the Daytona 500. And then along comes Pitbull and um, Justin Marks, and they start Trackhouse Racing. And it started off with Daniel Suarez driving for them in the number 99. And then, of course, they expanded to two and then three cars with Ross Chastain and um, Project 91. And just think about it. Both Chastain and Suarez got their first wins with Trackhouse. Isn't that cool? And another thing that's kind of ironic or a coincidence in a way, the last win for the number 99 in the Cup Series was actually at Sonoma. In 2014 and who was the driver that day the drive well it was the driver that Swords replaced at Gibbs in 2017 Carl Edwards kind of ironic huh anyways um, with that said um, I honestly didn't think I was gonna get this die cast in general because I was gonna get from the Lionel Racing website only for it to sell out but thankfully I found hope on Circle B diecast and I went with well I checked it out first and I was really confident and thankfully I was able to get this car without having any mailing issues whatsoever and I'm very glad this one and another diecast that I also got with it because I got two. I'm glad they came out with good quality control and after inspecting the car, it doesn't seem like it has any issues and, and well, I'm glad it came out the way it did. Now I rarely order, well, my mom and I rarely order stuff online, but this one and the other die casts I got were a rare exception. As far as getting stuff on the internet is concerned, I've been lucky with the die casts I've got because the ones I've gotten have not had any quality control issues or any shipping issues. So, so yeah. Anyways, with that said, um, this week, well, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, um, 2022 Sonoma, so that was a big weekend for sure, especially since, well, we had the truck series race, which I went to. I know you all have seen my videos from that day. I went that Saturday and got to see the Cup guys qualify, um, and I had a good time that day despite Kyle Busch winning, so it is what it is. And I also had... Um, 
I also went last year to my first Xfinity Series race, and I had fun last year too. A little sad I wasn't able to go to the Cup races in 2022 and last year, but you take what you get. I'm just grateful to have um, FS1. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to see any of those races on live television. I would have to be seeing it on on the computer or I have to borrow my mom's phone or the tablet, which we also have. And sometimes I can't always rely on those sometimes, but I'm glad I got to witness this on TV. And I'm most, well, as of this recording, Daniel Suarez officially has two career wins with his most recent one being at Atlanta a few weeks ago. And I definitely can't wait to get that die cast as well. Now, as far as this race was concerned, um, the 2022 Toyota Save Mark 350, um, it was a really good race. Um, I'm just glad that the finish played out the way it did and I'm glad there was no late race drama with the exception of AJ Allmendinger spinning with two to go going up the hill. And I have to thank NASCAR for not throwing a caution for that, which I really appreciate. So, yeah. And the top three, aside from Suarez winning, Chris Buescher finishing second along with Michael McDowell third. That was something I definitely did not expect, but I'm, I'm very glad I got, well, I'm very glad that they got the results that they did. And now they have multiple career wins now as of this video as well. Anyways, that's all I have to say. I know it's dragged on for too long, but without further ado, um, let's get into the review, shall we? So, as you can see, just like any race win car, this one is um, covered in confetti on the hood, on this side in general, and on the roof, and it's on the back as well. Not much on this side, though. Anyways, that's all I have to say about the details. It doesn't look like there's anything else. So with that said, let's start off at the front. As you can see, it is a Chevrolet Camaro. Um, starting off with the windshield, you got the bow tie and Suarez's last name on the top. You got Onyx Homes there on the hood along with Renu there as well. You also got the bow tie here on the nose. You also got two Sunoco stickers, along with the number 99 and the track house racing logo here on the front. Coming to the side here, you got the Cup Series sticker here. You also got the number 99. You got Renu Incorporated or Renu Inc. Um, you got Daniel Suarez's name there above the driver's side window too bad it doesn't come with a wind sticker but oh well you also got some stuff here on the um b post so a b and c post that's what they are um you got comscope here on the c post and you got renew and freeway insurance and siemens here on the quarter panel got the number 99 here on the roof you also got two Onyx Home decals here on the roof as well. You also have Swords' last name here on the rear windshield. Um, this thing's a little bit... Nah, it doesn't look that crooked, but oh well. You also got Renu here on the deck lid. Onyx Homes on the back here along with the Trackhouse Racing logo. Number 99, the bow tie and Camaro and Z01 decals here and this side is pretty much the same except for the confetti obviously and the only thing here on the on B post is just the Chevy logo and you got a name there I'm not sure what it says but anyways with that said that's going to do it for this die cast review I want to thank y'all for watching this has been Chase fan number 9 here make sure to comment like and subscribe and with that I'll see you all in the next video, and until then, have a good one, and stay safe, everybody.
Alright, bye everyone. Peace out.